Hey little rosebuds, it's me Black Rose. Uh, today I am working on a project with you guys. I don't have a body for her, but this is a G2 Claudine head. And I have removed all of her hair because I want to see how she's going to look with this yarn for hair. I'm hoping it's going to look like dreads or kind of like box braids maybe. That's what I'm going for with her. I think it's going to look nice with her skin tone. We're keeping the wolf ears because I don't know what I'm doing with her yet besides the hair. I'm removing the face later, but I just really want to do the hair first. I've not done a reroute ever before, so I'm a little nervous about that, but I've got my reroute tool of my needle cut at an edge that is a little bit bent, unfortunately. Let's see if I can straighten that out. Uh, a little bit better. Not great. But needle and a drill check. I'm going to set up my phone a little bit better to be downwards. And we're going to do this. Also, yes, my hair is cut. Very short. I don't like it. It's too short. Just a tiny bit too short in the front. Anyways, let's get on to this. Alrighty, here we go. My camera setup is freaking disastrous, but... Okay, I don't know if this is actually going to... This is going to work. Haha! -ha. I should be doing this on camera. Come on. Oh my gosh! I'm doing it! So that's the process for like a thousand of these. That is definitely over exaggerating how many of these there are, but still. From what I understand, yarn is normally thick enough of a fiber that you don't need glue. I might still put glue on the inside of my girl here. Just because I'm not confident. You know what I mean? Okay, but that's starting to go nicely. Oh yeah, no, that color looks good with the skin tone too. What I'm doing is I'm just rolling it up tightly to put it on the needle. This is a needle that I never used, first of all, and then shove Come on, go in through the hole. This is going to be slightly difficult with the bigger hole or the smaller ones throughout her head. But this is going nicely so far. Yeah. So I'm going to fill in the part line off camera. Because I can't speed this up necessarily. And it's going to take me a little while. And then when it comes time to do some of the smaller holes around the rest of her head. Also I had to cut open the back of her head to actually get all the glue and gunk out. It was gross. But I'm going to fill in the rest of her uh, part line here off camera. Then I will come back to let you know how it's going with the rest of it. Yeah, I'll be right back. Alrighty, I got a little bit carried away here. I got the part fully done, nice and thick. And then I started around the edge of her head and the edge of her ears. So I've just kind of been going the same thing. It works for the smaller bits too. Uh, it's a little bit difficult near where I kind of cut into her head, unfortunately. But that's fully on me. Where am I with the ears? There. So yeah, nope, it just works just fine. Just get the big bit into a hole, hold the head still, and stab her in. And yeah, I think that this will actually hold fine without glue. 
I'm a little bit nervous about it fully. I'm going to admit that. I'd love to start doing more like reroutes and stuff because this is actually kind of satisfying. But I also mostly work with yarn anyways. So what I can probably do is reroute yarn and then unravel it and then get the look I get anyways from my blue uh, hair. I'm excited for my next project too. I've done a lot of really dark colored projects recently. Like if, if you follow my Instagram, you'll see my projects a lot more than you see them here. That is for sure. Alrighty, this is looking very good. This hair looks so pretty on Claudine. It's almost, when I, I actually got this yarn at an estate sale I went to the other day for, oh, the whole roll was 25 cents. I'm definitely going to have to cut more yarn here in a minute. But then I will, so I'll just plug a few more in here. In you go. So I'll plug a few more in here. I might, no, I don't know what I'm going to do about this. It was a necessity, unfortunately, so I'll just have to work around it. I'll probably plug two more pieces here. But no, I got this yarn at an estate sale. And my original thought was Ariel when I saw it, the new Ariel. Because I, I haven't seen it yet. I've heard it's very good. I genuinely like the casting for Ariel Halle Bailey. Her voice is phenomenal. I will admit I'm not excited about this new live action Snow White. For several reasons. Like, I think when her name is Snow White and part of the character's whole thing is literally be having skin as white as snow that's um uh, that's a kind a time when you can't cast someone of color for the character i not saying that anything against the actress she is lovely i cannot remember her name though but i am terrible at names all right this is looking beautiful absolutely gorgeous here honestly I think filling in around her ears, I almost don't need to fill in any more for her. So yeah, I can probably just fill in the rest around her one ear. And then the back, and then that might be it because of how thick a yarn reroute is. Because yeah, you'd never be able to tell that that's a bald spot there unless you are actually looking for it. Beautiful. Be right back. Alrighty, got some more yarn cut potentially more than I need. I don't know how much I need because again, I have never rerouted before. I normally glue on yarn hair or I've made a wig once or twice, but never rerouted. But I am vibing with this. But yeah, kind of what I might start doing is rerouting yarn and then untwisting it to get my normal uh, effect because like I find that if you just straighten untwisted yarn it looks pretty decent for doll hair that's just kind of what I do though also the setup is nice I'm not a huge fan of the thing I've got holding my phone right now It's one of those like really wobbly ones that you just kind of clip onto your desk. This one's actually made for a bike, but it's from the dollar store and it's kind of awful, but it does the job, not gonna lie. The only reason it's not completely falling over from the weight of the phone is because I have a small fish tank on this desk as well. There is no fish in it currently, but there is water in it. And it's slightly nudged underneath the bottom of it. 
I, I have three fish tanks in my house currently and I take care of all of them because neither my partner nor my other roommate know how to take care of fish. Well, so I'm, this is a new desk. Like for me, it's new. It's, it was a gift from our neighbors and we kept it in the living room. So I'm only going to record here. Get all that yarn. I'm only going to record here when no one else is home, I'm thinking, because A, my roommate is really loud, and B, I think my partner would totally tease me about this. In a very loving way, I have a very good partner. We've been together for coming up on three years in October, which is insane. Never thought I'd find someone that would truly be like this good for me. I don't think you guys will ever see their face. I also say they, them, even though that's not the pronouns that they normally use because I, they value their privacy greatly and I don't wanna go into too much detail about anything with them. I know that they definitely don't want to be on my channel. I've talked to them about it in the past and I understand. I get it. They might do small things in the future to help me out with my channel. Like I really want to do like a bunch of those old trends where it's like boyfriend chooses your outfit, girlfriend chooses your outfit. You remember those videos? Those were really cute. And I genuinely would let them pick an outfit for me out of my clothes because uh, we have very similar style. Look at her. Look at her. But anyway, we ha we do have very similar style. I wouldn't put them as goth, but they also only really wear black, minus a few white t-shirts here and there. And like, you know what? We joke about it all the time. It's kind of our thing that we just joke about being like, hey, yeah, golf, yeah. And it's like, color, what's that? Never heard of her. We just have fun little things like that. You know, this, that got, I'm getting off track. I am rambling. But hey, if you watched me for a while, you know that I ramble. And I'm really liking this type of video right now. I wanna make more like this. And I wanted to do a mermaid series anyways. Maybe I will, and then I'll do Ariel as a finishing touch. Cause like, I wanna do a mermaid series based off of real fish. And I've got the types of fish that I would do picked out. I would start it with an angler fish just cause I love them. I have a perfect doll for it. I was trying to give a doll a snatched waist, but I forgot. I, I just never got around to actually filling in the, the rest of the waist after snatching it. So it's kind of just two halves of a doll stuck together by some wood. This is, you know, this is the difficult part. Come on. Okay. In you go. There we go. This is where it's getting difficult now because of the slit. I wonder if I could get away without it. I pause? No, I don't think I can, but I think I can go above it. Yeah, let's see how that goes. I don't know if anyone's going to enjoy this random rerouting video. What I'm going to do in this video though also is I'm going to try out the other idea I had of rerouting and then unraveling. Because I really want to do like a fully pastel sweet stall. Because again, I've done a lot of dark colored dolls recently. And I just want, I need the color. I don't wear, I kind of, I'm slowly starting to wear some pastels in my day to day life. Sacrilege. Wah. Anyways. Um, yeah, that's a thing. But I desperately want to make a really pastel doll. Because I, I genuinely do like making them. 
I'm going to sculpt little tiny candies to go on her dress or whatever clothes I make for her. I know what doll I'm using for her as well. I've got it sitting next to me. I'm using a tw uh, G th G1 Twyla. Twyla is one of my favorite characters. I love her in the new Monster High as well. They really kept the essence of the character there. And they, I think that the fact that they made her autistic is very, very sweet. If, I think it does fit her very well. And from what I've seen, they did a pretty decent job with it. Like my brother's autistic. My best friend's sibling is autistic. My roommate is autistic. I know a lot of people who are autistic. I've kind of been around it my entire life. I've got a pretty good, uh, I'm pretty good at noticing signs for it at this point in my life. I'm not perfect by any means. I'm not a professional, obviously I'm not perfect. But I can normally guess pretty with pretty good accuracy. And I don't, obviously I don't judge. Like my brother, like I said, my brother is autistic. Obviously I'm not going to judge. I would protect him with my life. And being autistic is just another part of him. I would protect people, people like that. If they are decent people, I will protect them. Because it's not their fault. They didn't choose to be born this way. They just see the world differently than we do. I am literally just being so sporadic with where I'm putting the hair, but she has got so much hair now. Oh my gosh. I might have to fill in the front a little bit more than I thought. This looks so good though. I, oh gosh, the back is where I'm really struggling to fill her in. I wish I, part of me kind of wishes I had her on a body for this. Okay, we're making good progress though. I think it depends on how I style her hair too, on how she's going to look. Like I kind of want to pull it around like, like, you know, the style where they pull it from the sides to the back. I really love how that looks. What I might do is I might just quickly style her hair here. I thought I had an elastic nearby, but apparently I don't. Because I never do, you know, you know. So I might just try and pull her hair into that style really quickly here, just to see how it's going to look. A, that's really cute and pretty, and B, yeah, just a little bit here is where all I really need. I think I've got the back good enough that no one's going to see it, this style. So I'm going to go grab an elastic, fill in this little bit, and try and find a body for her. I have no idea what happened to hers. I think I had to take it apart and use the arms for another project. Dang it. Okay, well, I will be back. Wish me luck. Alrighty. So hair styled, very cute. And this is the body that I found. It is a, what is it? Uh, Disney Descendants doll body. It's not perfect. I'm going to be giving, it kind of took away her head articulation. I might put her on this Barbie body, which I think is a better match, maybe? I don't know now, but the neck peg on this doll broke when I removed the head. So uh, this is my awful, awful attempt at fixing it. I will just have to give her an outfit that covers her neck. 
but like this doll doesn't have great articulation anyways. I'm just gonna keep her head on this because it's too much work to get it off. And the match is fine. It's not great. So that's this doll then. The hair I'm very happy with. I'll end up making her into some sort of doll that I just displayed that I don't like play around with. I don't play with my dolls much anyways. Because they are art pieces, you know. I'm gonna see how long this video is and then I'm gonna decide if I wanna do a reroute for Twyla now as well. So I'll be right back. All right, this video is a little long. It's already gonna take me a little bit of effort to upload. So we will do Twyla's reroute in a next video. Cause I'm actually, I enjoyed doing this rerouting video where just I chatted with you guys. So we're gonna do more of these. I like them. All right, bye guys, rock on and goodbye.